Let's go over the solution to second weekly math challenge question. And the question was x plus y plus z is 1. And two of the three expressions x plus y, y plus z, and x plus z are equal to 0. And we're going to let s sub n be x to the nth power plus y to the nth power plus z to the nth power. The first thing you may realize is that all three of these expressions are symmetric. Meaning you can switch around x and y to make it y plus x plus z or you can switch around y and z to make it x plus z plus y but you're still going to have the same expression and this applies to every single constraint you can switch around these two, you can switch around these two, but you're still going to get the same constraint. And you, you, have the same, you have the same S sub N when we switch around X and Y or Y and Z. So in the end, what that's telling you, because of the symmetri symmetric uh, manner in which the problem is set, we, can, we don't have to worry about which of these are equal to zero. We can just let two of them equal to zero. So we can let X plus Y be zero and Y plus one be zero. Because it's symmetric, it does not matter which one we pick to be 0. So let's say these two are 0. And now let's look at the expression x plus y plus z is 1. x plus y plus z, not times z. So x plus y plus z is 1. Notice that x plus y is 0. So you have z is equal to 1 because this thing is 0. Okay, z is 1 and you know y plus z is 0. That's telling you y is negative 1. And since x plus y is 0, that's telling you x is 1. Okay. So you, we have figured out what x, y, and z are. So now we got to evaluate this expression. Find the sum from n equals to 1 to 2017 of s sub n. And you know s sub n is x to the n plus y to the n plus z to the n. Now let's think about what this summation expression is expressing. This thing is telling you to plug 1 into n plug 2 into n, plug 3 into n, all the way to 2017, and add all of them up. So this thing is what the summation wants us to evaluate. Okay, ah, that, that looks too complex. Let's break it down. What's s sub 1? s sub 1 is x to the first power, plus y to the first power, plus z to the first power. And x is 1. Let me rewrite it. y is negative 1, z is 1. So this thing is equal to 1 minus 1 plus 1, which is 1, okay? How about s sub 2? That's x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And when you square 1 or negative 1, you're going to get 1. So adding them up should get you 3. Okay. How about s sub 3? x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed. 1 cubed is 1. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1. 1 cubed is 1. Wait a bit. That's 1. How about, how about s sub 4? That's x to the fourth plus y to the fourth plus z to the fourth, which is 1 to the fourth plus negative 1 to the fourth, which is positive 1, plus 1 to the fourth. Hey, hey, look at this. 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3. We have a pattern. So we are going 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, and so on. And you want to look at 2017 of this. Okay, so you want to add up all of this. So 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus, and you want to do this 27 times. Uh, 2017 times, my bad. 2017 times. So what's the easy way of doing it? Well, 1 plus 3 is 4. So every time, every pair counts for 4. So every pair adds up to 4. And how many pairs do we have in 2017? Let's divide it into 2. You have 1,008 and 1 left over. So you have 1,008 times 4 and you have 1 left over, which should be 1 because you went through all the pairs. So the next number should be 1. And multiplying this out gets you 4032 plus 1 or 4033. And that's it.